Hello guys, so meme coin season is back and this is some exciting stuff, but there is a few things you need to be very careful of and we'll talk about that later. But if we're looking at the prices right now, we're seeing that uh, Pepe is dominating on Pulse Chain. It has, uh, it, it's ranked number one right now in terms of transactions, market cap, volume and all that stuff on DEX screen up. The second one we see we have uh, Pulse, Pulse X this is the usual one. The third one is we see we, see we have got uh, Shiba Inu uh, wrapped Pulse pay and then we've got wrapped bitcoin wrapped bitcoin now this is uh forked bitcoin uh forked wrapped bitcoin and real wrapped bitcoin as well so but we see a lot of meme action happening in the top 10 of this and this is the narrative of the biggest airdrop in crypto now what is driving all of this now what's driving all of this is richard hart uh, is tweeting about some of these coins and not only that we also created some farms that uh, allow anyone to earn passive income by providing liquidity for some of these payers. So if we go onto the farms, what we can see is we see that we have, um, these are the new farms, right? The Pepe farm, the Pepe, uh, Pepe on Ethereum wrapped Bitcoin farm as well. So we've got these meme coin farms. And guys, if you do want to farm Pulse Ship, uh, we've got farms on ShipShift as well. You can check them out there. We've got a farm for, uh, for if you want to provide liquidity for ShipShift uh, for the, pulse ship link for the pulse ship and pulse pay you can provide liquidity and you can deposit your liquidity tokens and earn yield on those farms now the it's a good amount 79.12 uh, apr uh, that's how much yield you can earn there so the excitement about these farms are on pulse x and now farms on ship shift is what's driving this interest and what's really uh, driving people onto onto on on, on on to trading these memes however one thing that i think people should be wary about and should think about is this right uh if you see you've got a situation where you've got uh pepe is dominating in terms of, of of volume and all that if we take a look at the market cap of pepe on pulse chain it's right now 16.3 million now this looks good but the biggest issue is this holders of pepe on ethereum can dump at any moment there are whales of Pepe. They can come and dump on Pulsicans at any minute. The majority of people buying this are Pulsicans. Those are the majority of people who want to speculate on what's happening uh, on, on with, with these meme coins. And there is a huge potential where, where someone realizes, like let's say a, a Pepe on Ethereum whale realizes that he's got uh, a 300k that he can cash out on it on, on Pulsicans. Pulse chain the question is do you think are they going to hodl or are they going to come and dump right and are they long-term believers another thing is this we know that coins go up pump to the upside and then they pull back but some coins do never come back and some coins come back now what's the narrative that will drive these coins to come back the moment they have that incredible that, that, that crazy dip that's one thing that i think everyone should be thinking about now if anyone wants a, a a meme coin on pulse chain i think the logical thing is to check out pulse ship pulse ship is a pulse chain meme coin and it there are no e pulse ship holders that can dump on you it's a meme coin built for pulse chain and all the holders right are hardcore believers in pulse chain if you go and look at the, the analysis the chain analysis you find that most of the ho holders of pulse ship also hold pulse x most of the holders of pulse ship also hold pulse chain tokens as well so these are people that are most likely to have the best interest of the ecosystem at heart these are not people that are likely to just dump for the sake of just getting a quick paycheck uh, there are people who are there for the long term who want to real make in terms of gains everyone wants gains but uh they're definitely within the ecosystem for the long term i think that those are the projects that make sense to hodl now if you want to play with these uh pepe uh, uh pulse pepe token and all that stuff that are forked over it in my view it has to be a trading that's it you have to be trading trying to uh catch a bottom catch a top it cannot be a long-term hold but Obviously, this is not financial advice. I'm sharing my opinion of what I think and how I think that th these things will pan out. I don't think that these coins will be sustainable in the long term and for the reasons that I've mentioned. And I do think that they're going to be a great onboarding tool because if you look at what Richard Hart said as well, he says that uh, when people go in a shopping mall, they go for one thing, come back with more. So people can come to cash out their Pepe and then end up buying some Pulse, Pulse X. Uh, but I don't think you should be he also warned people that guys don't play in the casino on the casino in in, in 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 other words i think that means that uh 
own the tokens you want to own uh, pulse x own pulse x but don't be trading on pulse x because you might get wrecked now one of the other things that you need to look at is this right because we have all this activity with meme coins on pulse chain we're starting to see the buy and burn mechanism go absolutely insane now here is the brilliance of what uh, of, of what richard hart did um pulse xv1 was not paying liquidity providers instead it was taking all the funds and sending all the funds to the buy and burn mechanism and that caused a uh, so that's why we cre- uh, uh, he then created pulse x v2 now pulse x v2 pays liquidity providers fees but here is the kicker the farms are only on pulse x v1 so it forces liquidity providers to provide liquidity on pulse x v1 and it also uh, create an environment where people are using v1 which has a massive buy and burn mechanism instead of v2 which pays uh liquidity providers now if you look at this right this is pulse x v1 has 247 million liquidity total value locked then if you look at uh v2 v2 has only 16 million uh 15 million total value locked right so majority of liquidity is still on v1 despite that liquidity providers don't earn anything but uh that's i think that's because that's the only way you can participate in farms there are no pulse xv2 farms there are only pulse xv1 farms so i think that that's a great strategy to to incentivize people to use pulse xv1 and also to in to by doing so ensuring that the buy and burn mechanism is burning a lot of pulse eggs we're now at 200 billion pulse eggs burned that's a huge number anyway guys let me know what you think about this you agree with it you disagree what your thoughts are and if there are any new farms you want to see on ship shift uh drop a comment in the comment section tag the pulse ship twitter account which uh, pairs you want to see on ship shift if there are any new pairs you want to see anyway guys thank you guys for watching and any to, and to all the projects that are launching that do want to have a yield farming uh reach out uh, on on telegram i will leave the link to the uh, pulse ship telegram group in the description if any projects that want to build that want to provide liquidity that want to incentivize their communities i think this will be a great platform for you because right now i think that uh i think re- on pulse x those opportunity might not be there for you to list your your your, uh, your token but that opportunity might be there on ship shift which would be great for the ecosystem because as richard art is 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 pushing for the biggest airdrop ever in crypto for people to be onboarded uh, through paper and all that stuff um ship shift can be the platform that actually supports the pulse chain projects that are, are building for pulse chain that don't have a home for yield farming so if you uh, know anyone any project that you think could benefit from this reach out to them let them know that ship shift is there you uh, you uh, we can organize work on having more farms some of the farms to incentivize your communities to come and build on pulse chain anyway guys thank you guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time